All right, hello everyone. I have, I'm gonna do some cooking today. Do some pork ribs, cook it up. So before I do that, I got me some olive oil, just a little bit, right? just like that. And some seasonings. So I'm gonna hook this pork ribs up and I didn't do food shopping so that much and I didn't prepare myself so I'm gonna just use all the little scraps that I have hook it up I have here buttermilk chicken flavor twist put some of that in here something different because you know I, I didn't actually did shopping been working every day all day exhausted and it's my own, my day off so I put some of that in here I'm gonna put a little bit of some adobo just I'm gonna show you just enough as you can see just a little bit put that to the side gonna put a little bit of red pepper flakes just a little bit like three four five six seven eight nine ten that's it just so it could be a little spice I love my parsley so I'm gonna put some of that I'm gonna open it like this cuz I love parsley I'm going to show you how it looks, you know. As you can see, you know. Um, I don't got too much seasoning, so I'm just trying to everything I can just to make a, you know, a good dinner for me and my husband. Tyson is taking a nap, my cat. If I could just open this. Oh, you serious? Oh, damn it. Put this back in. Just a little bit like, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, I guess 19, 19, 20. You know, these are for people that don't have too much seasoning in the house right now. They, you know, trying to do something for what they got. I'm going to put a little paprika so the color could change. Just so that, you know, when I season it up, it gives a little color to it. And I'm going to put, because I usually do sofrito, homemade sofrito. But I haven't because I've been working. I've been exhausted and tired. So I'm just trying all these little seasons that I got left up. Next week I'll do a little shopping, get everything I need. I'm going to put some of this. Onion mix. Mice mix. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little. As you can see. You see? Then I'm gonna put garlic. I love garlic, so you know, I just got this today, so let me open it. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put a whole lot because I love garlic. I, I want my a whole lot. Like, I love garlic. As you can see, that's a lot of garlic. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of Italian seasoning that I got left. I'm just gonna open the whole thing. Just a little. As you can see. You see? I'm gonna put a little turmeric, ground turmeric for the color. And you know, turmeric is really good for you anyway. Not so much. I don't want to put too much of that. 
Well, since there's only a little bit of garlic here I got there, you can't really see. I'm going to put the rest of it. Because, like I said, I love garlic. That's it. <laughs> That's trash. 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 And I'm going to put some sasson. A unique sasson. This one. Not the, not the one that has the um, achote in it. Just going to put some of that. I'm trying to hook this baby up because I don't have enough seasoning right now. So, you know, next week, payday. So I'm using both of them. Put that in there. And then I'm going to use just one, just one. This is the salad vegetable seasoning. I'm going to put that in because, you know, it's not bad. It's got, you know, salads and vegetables in it. So I'm going to put that And only because I usually have my seasoning, my sofrito, my dressings. And being that I've been working... I haven't had the damn time, so I'm going to miss all that together. You see how I'm missing it all together? I put some oil. I think I'm going to have to put a little more oil so that it could be a little greasy. So when it's cooking, but let me mix this up first. Hook that up. You know? Stir it all up together, mix it all up. And mix it all up. That, you want it thick like that. You see how thick it is? You see how thick it is? I want it like that so that when I put the olive oil again, you'll see how it come out. So we could dress the the pork ribs up so I mixed it all up take a little sip of my little wine mm -hmm. that's good so mix it all up and now I'm going to get some olive oil and see how can I pause this Okay, so I got me some olive oil. As you can see, everything is like empty. You know, I've been busy working. This is all I got left. So I'm just going to put a little bit just to wet it. Like, let me see. Let's put it like this. That's one top. Two top. And I'm going to put another one. Three. Let's do it like that. So, put this to the side. And now I'm going to miss it. You see, missing it all up. So that it doesn't be so dry, but it's pretty much there. Just so it could be wet. So when you're stressing this and, you know, you cook it real low. I got the oven on to 400 right now. Had that on for like almost an hour or 45 stir it up you see how it's coming out you see now it's not that dry but it's something like that so I'm going to taste this first see how that goes um, it's good a little salty but it's good because once it goes deep inside the meat is going to be all great. So let me clean my hands and I get back to you. Mm -hmm. So my hands are clean. Now, I got the, the pork ribs. Now what I'm going to do is, this is how I'm going to do it. Because I want it to be everywhere, you know? It's thick, but it's okay. So 
So you want to miss it all in there, all on it. Around the bones. Trust me, it's gonna come out banging. So you know, this is for like people don't that don't have enough seasoning. They try to do something with what they got, and or don't have time to be doing food shopping like that because you know you're busy working. I'm busy. I'm always working, and I have osteoporosis on my leg, on my knee. So you know, I be exhausted by the time I'm off. So I figure, let me just do a little cooking show or something for some people that, you know, don't have time to be going shopping like that. They're so tired. Okay, so let me just put a little more here. You see how it's looking? But I'm going to flip it up. I know my, my cameras are pretty bright because it's so bright in my house right now. Well, the table is clean, so... Oh, this is clean. <laughs> Disaffected the table with Mr. Clean. Flip them up. Over. Now, I'm going to put some more of the seasoning. And it looks like, you know, you might want to put some more seasoning. Like, make a little extra. Thinking that it's not enough for the meat. But it really is. Because you don't want to put too much. And... Just want to dress it all up there. You see how I got it like that? Put it in the meat. All that fat. That's my favorite part of the meat. The fat. You know? And I know how to do my own sofrito. Homemade. I got some special ingredients that I cannot share it. You know? So the next one is going to be me doing sofrito, homemade, which I'm kind of upset with myself because I went to get the all the sofrito mix that I needed and come to realize that I don't have that adobo with the green top, the adobo with the um, seasoning that is like more, not like powdery, it's more just crushed up. That's my favorite. Now I'm turning to the side. Trying to make sure, because this is nice and thick, you know, so it like stay in there. And I already put olive oil you. So, that's going to make it like juicy, kind of like greasy. Now I'll put the rest of this. Because I want to get it all in there. Side. There's a fat one too. You want to mix everything up in the bowl first before you like put it on the meat so that all that could be, you know, mixed up together and just straight, just right. All right, a little more of the fat part there. But this is good because let me tell you something. I know this seems like a lot of food. Right, but personally, me and my husband, well, me actually, I ain't gonna lie, I could eat. I could eat, like, let me see, four of these suckers. Maybe not in one shot, but I could eat it. <laughs> All right, so let me make sure everything is straight. Put it all over. Bones. Beautiful. So, I don't know if you can see this, but this is the way it should be looking. You see how all the seasoning is on, is on it? Everything, how thick it is, and it's, you know, it's good. It's really good. So, that's not bad. You know? So, now, I'm going to clean my hands. Make sure everything is there. You see all that, all straight. You see how all everything is straight in there. Both sides. There's a fat one. You see how that it is. 
all the ingredients. So I'm going to put it in the oven. Put the lemon of foil you on. Turn it to the bone side so that while it's cooking the juice, you know, it falls down in it. Turn it to the bone side. This is a bone here. Yep, the bone side. Okay, so let me clean my hands and I get back to you. All right, so my hands are clean. Now, I want to tell you one thing, you know, so you don't want it to be dry too, even though I'm going to put it real low. I'm going to put, you see how much water I put on that from the rest of the season that was in here? I'm going to just wet it. Not too much because I don't want the, it to, you know, the juice or the flavor to get out. Just a little on the sides, the corners. Just a little with water. That's going to help it cook a little bit extra faster too, you know? And let me show you how that looks. I don't know if you'll be able to see it good, but the water is not as that much. It's like, you know, you see it? Not that much. So now I'll put the aluminum foil. First, I'm going to drain it a little more. I know it's kind of early. Where I'm at is like, 137 and I'm already drinking a half a bottle of wine. I haven't drank this is my first cup, so anyway. It's my day off, man. Trying to relax. So now I'm gonna put this aluminum for you on. Put it on for you on. Good. Make sure it's all good. And I'm gonna just do it. I want it to steam real good. Okay. That's how you make pork ribs. When you have not enough seasoning and it's not so much you got to use, you use what you can so you can hook it up. Always put the olive oil you, and if you don't have olive oil, you maybe some kind of oil will make it greasy. It, the food always come out much a little better when it's like that when you put the oil you and smiths everything to it. And and I didn't really have much, not enough seasoning really, you know. So, what can I say, you know, when you're working, you're tired, and you, you know, your day off, you want to cook and eat, but you don't have enough, you know, to use. So, I use all the little things that I could use that I have. Usually, I have more other seasoning and special stuff and all that craziness, but today, well, actually this month, been a crazy, busy, freaking month. So I've been so tired that I don't even want to do all that extra right now. So now I'm going to pop this in the oven. The oven is right now at 400 degrees. I'm going to put it all the way down low. Once I put this in the oven, all the way down low to, I say, I say 250. And I'll check on that in a little bit and we'll get back to you. I'll be right back because now i got to do the string beans. I'll be back. Okay, now, I'm going to do the string beans. Homemade string beans, right? Well, this is good. Cut through this little, these little pieces. I mean, they're pretty good. Ooh, some of them are, not that much. Cut this off, you know, cut these pieces off. That, cut that off. Because I'm just going to do homemade string beans. And that there, you know, because we don't have much right now. I'm exhausted to be going shopping. My day off, cutting the string beans. The corners are good. That's good. Like these pieces, you want to cut that. You want to cut that off. I don't want that in my string beans. 
and I'm going to season the string beans. And I'm going to put these string beans right in the oven. Nice and low. I got the ribs for two. Oh, sure. For like 250 And then I'm going to put these there. The ribs is in the bottom. These are going to go on top. On the top, you know, of the oven. On the shelf of the oven. Put these on. I love string beans, so yeah, I'm gonna do a whole lot. So maybe we might have I have a good dinner for like even tonight. You y'all get hungry at midnight, eleven o'clock, you know, you got extra. Okay, that was a phone call, so I had to pause it. Alright, that's pretty good. That's good. Oh, see, I don't like these little pieces in the corner. You know, the stems. I don't like those. Take them right off. Okay. Um, hopefully I didn't miss one. <laughs> okay. So, do all this. Cut that. You see how that piece is like that? It's still good, you know? When you was raised poor and came from the, you know, the hood, the ghetto, you know, you survive. You learn how to survive. And there's a lot of food that people throw away all the time that it's still good. It's not that it's bad. It just, you know, you don't want to eat it like that or maybe sometimes too good or whatever. But they still good. So I'm trying to do all this a little quick. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That's the good thing about this one. Thank God I found the right one because usually it'd be so much stems that you got to keep, oh my God, you got to keep cutting them all. So this is not that bad. You see, when you see it like that, that's not bad still. People would say, oh no, that's not good. No, cut it off. Okay, so I finally cut all the stems. This is the string bean. It's not that bad. It's like it was like, let me see, like um, it was like a one pound, one pound. So this is one pound of string beans. Now, I'm gonna put like I always say, I love my parsley. I'm just gonna put some, you know. That's how I'm gonna do. That's it. I'm thinking I should try something different. <clears throat> Put the ground mustard. Check it out. See how that come out. See how, you know, something different. No, it's got to be the same thing, that, you know. Just a little. Like a sprinkles on it, around it. I'm not putting butter. I'm going to just let it, you know, steam in the oven. Put in there a little bit, not that much. It doesn't look that bad. It look like I, I'm putting a lot, but it's really not. So check it out. This is how it look. You see, not that bad. Now I'm gonna put my garlic pot powder because I love garlic. I can't help it. I just love garlic. Garlic with everything. I put garlic in my tea when I'm sick. Take my herbs from Dr. Zebby. <clears throat> I order his, you know, his herbs. Which I do need to say some now again, you know. Alright, so I put some garlic powder. Now I'm going to put the aluminum for you. That's going to be the dinner. It's going to be real low. Everything will be in 250. So, 250. Nice and tight. Perfect. Not bad at all. You see? Not bad. My cigarettes, but it's just that. <laughs> you know? Take another sip of my cup. Mm-hmm. And now I'm going to put this in the oven. I'm going to let it cook. As maybe... Maybe an hour or two. 
real low, that's why. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for 250. And I'll let you see how that come out. Let you see how the pork ribs come out. Then I'm gonna do me um, <clears throat> some white rice. I, I did want to do some rice and beans, but I don't, like I say, I don't have my sofrito. I didn't make it homemade. I like to use my own homemade sofrito. So I'm gonna use this. I'm just gonna put this in the oven, make some white rice, and then I'll let you see how everything comes out. I'll get back to you. Like and subscribe. I would say put the notification on, but I'm always working. I'm so busy. I don't have time sometimes to be making videos all the time like other people do. I'm just a beginner. You know, I'm just trying to see what this get to me. Why, Tyson? Why? What happened? What happened? What, baby? What? What, my baby? What, Tyson? What happened? He's a main coon cat. I was trying to do a video just about the cat, but, you know, I don't know too much about doing any of the stuff. I'm always busy and working. So, Tyson, what happened? You can't come up here. Don't get up here. Don't get up here yet. So, you better wait. My baby. So, now I'm going to put this in the oven. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Like and subscribe. So, you know, and I guess push the notification. Maybe in the future I have some more stuff. I'm trying to do extra. I'm an artist. I love to draw. You know, and I'm trying to see what can I do with this. I don't know what to do. I, I survived carbon monoxide last year. I don't know how to even get help for that. My landlord at the time, he's running free, having a good time, thinking, you know, I, w I would like to sue him because of what he did. It was real legit. I will tell you that story in the future. But right now, I don't have time for it. I just, you know, want to cook and relax now. I'm going to take a break. Hopefully Tyson don't push the button to turn back on the video. So, I will get back to you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Push that notification on. That's it. <laughs> and God bless everyone. I get back to you when everything is done. I say like maybe two or three hours. See how that goes. Peace. Straight from New York. <laughs>